For all those who are wondering where is a classic pay-per-view review, that will be up Monday. Sorry, I just got. I want to upload this video, and I want this video to get views. And this is a response to Double A from the Wrestling Guru Society. I recently did a video series with uh, Wrestling Guru Society member Dallas, Chilling with Chase, Episode One. And if you want to be on Episode Two, just hit me up on Skype, and make sure you have a workable mic. But this is a response on how John Cena is not bigger than the WWE Championship. First off, Aaron, I do agree with your point on how Cena is not bigger than the WWE Championship. But what you were saying in the video about how when The Rock and Stone Cold were not champions, they weren't main eventing pay-per-views, I just gotta say, whoa, 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 slow your roll there, buddy. You know, yes, the WWE Championship is the most valued title in the WWE. Yes, the WWE Championship should be defended on every single show. But the one thing you're not mentioning is this. In past, the WWE does this. Whatever feud they think is more enjoyable, a feud that they think has more purpose, they will main event it over the WWE title. And to, to counteract your points, St. Valentine's Day Massacre, 1998, I believe it was, or 99, one of those two pay-per-views. Or actually, I think it was 99. Yeah, it was 99. The main event did not feature the WWE Championship which or the WWF Championship at that time. No, the main event was Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Vince McMahon. Stone Cold wasn't champion. He wasn't WWF champion. So why was that main eventing? I mean, really, Aaron, what you got to understand is this. Even though there's the WWE Championship and the WWE Championship means everything, Sometimes there's just a match that's a little bit better that deserves to go last. I understand your frustration with Cena main eventing all the time. But let's look at it this way. Cena versus The Rock. I am sorry, Cena versus The Rock is a feud that deserves to main event over the motherfucking championship. The re main reason why WrestleMania got its fucking buy rate and internet fans can blow up everything they want about how maybe Punk and Jericho chipped in. But really, I had casuals coming over just to see The Rock, the great one, oh, wrestle in that goddamn ring. They did not care about Punk versus Jericho. Sure, they were a little interested in Triple H versus Undertaker. But other than that, they just wanted to see The Great One return to that goddamn ring. So why in the fuck would you have Rock and Cena not main event WrestleMania? That would make no sense. That match was announced a year before. Was Punk and Jericho announced a year before? No. Hell, CM Punk was supposed to be leaving the WWE when that match was announced. So, really, it makes sense to have Rock and Cena main event. That's a dream match. And now we go on to Cena versus Lesnar. Cena versus Lesnar is another type of dream match. And also, with Brock Lesnar, how you think about it, he brings more interest into the company. Lesnar's that guy that has the interest to many wrestling fans. So why not have Brock Lesnar main event? It's going to be one of the main reasons why people bought Extreme Rules. Not because they want to see Punk vs. Jericho in a Chicago street fight. Not because of Daniel Bryan vs. Sheamus. I'm sure there's fans out there. But the main majority, the main casual consensus would be interested into seeing a Cena vs. Lesnar. Now let's get on to Cena vs. Laronitis. Cena vs. Laronitis. Should it have main evented? That's a debate for another time. But the thing is, what the WWE was thinking is, Cena vs. Laronitis is drawing into more interest. It's kind of like a Stone Cold Steve Austin vs. Vince McMahon feud. Although not on the same proportion, not on the same proportion, it is still a feud between these two. It is a corporate stooge getting rid of his corporate boss, wanting revenge of his corporate boss. I mean, really, there's a lot of people here in America and maybe all around the world that hates their boss, and which is they could do the same exact thing that John Cena is doing to their boss, which made Stone Cold Steve Austin and Vince McMahon successful. Stone Cold was that rebel that everyone wanted to be. Stone Cold was that guy stunnering and stunnering Vince every single time, and they, every time they looked at their boss, they wished they could let their Stone Cold Steve Austin out. They're like, man, I wish I could Stone Cold that motherfucker. I mean, really, that's what people were thinking, and so WWE was trying to go with that effect. In a way, should it have main evented? I don't know. I personally was not a fan of it main eventing, but I guess because, you know, casual consensus kicked in, bam. Now, Cena Big Show, it shouldn't have main evented. Cena versus Big Show should not have main evented. But when you're saying that nothing's bigger than the belt, it, you're kind of saying that, you know, 
Yeah, let's fuck wrestling history. You know, yeah, the belt came first, but, you know, if there's a Shawn Michaels versus Hulk Hogan dream match at SummerSlam 2005, that shouldn't go on last, even though that was built up better than most of the matches. That shouldn't go on last. That's what you're kind of saying to me. You're kind of saying that no one cares about dream matches. And, and to be honest, the matches that people would tune in and buy pay-per-views for are dream matches. Now, let me get you. Let me say this for you. In 1999, in November, Big Show won the WWF Championship. He had a match with Big Boss Man at Armageddon. At the same time in 1999, Triple H was beating with Vince McMahon because Triple H, quote-unquote, married Stephanie at the time. They didn't really get married till 2003. Just a little history for you guys there. So, Triple H and Vince were going to have a street fight. Tell me this, Aaron. Would you rather see... Big Show versus Big Boss Man, which they tried to take to a personal level by having Boss Man drag Big Show's dead fucking father in a casket, and it turned out to be hilarious more than that. Would you rather see that poorly built feud main event of pay-per-view just because it's the WWF Championship, the WWE Championship, or would you rather see a well-executed, a well-thought-out process feud in Triple H versus Vince McMahon? That's the thing. Sometimes there are feuds better than the WWE or WWF Championship. It is that simple. That's the thing. Now, let me get back to what I'm saying about Cena. I already stated Cena and Big Show should not have made events. So I don't want anyone coming on here in the comments of saying, well, you just hypocritic yourself because you said a more interesting feud. I've said Cena versus Big Show should not have made events. So I do not want those hypocritical comics. I'm saying there's sometimes in the situation where WWE thinks there is something that they want to main event more than the WWE Championship. Go look at the raw breakdowns in the ratings. It is showing that in the ratings, some CM Punk segments are losing fans more than gaining fans. And then some Cena segments are gaining a little bit more fans or maybe losing a little bit more fans. Not as big as the CM Punk segments. Cena is more popular when it comes down to a casual consensus. Yes, Punk's popularity has grown. But if I ask any of my casual friends and maybe some non-casuals, I'll ask them, who do you think is more popular, Cena or CM Punk? Some people would probably scratch their hands and say, uh, who's CM Punk? Or some people would say, isn't he on ECW? Or some people will say, oh, didn't he cut that promo? You know, that's, that's just what I think. That's what I think. I've asked people about CM Punk. One of my friends thought he was still had ECW. They thought ECW was still around. He's a casual that barely watches, but hey, he's my friend. And I asked him about CM Punk. He thought that dude was still in ECW. He, he knew Cena was going to face The Rock. He was like, hey, man, can I come over to see Cena versus Rock? I'm like, yeah, you know CM Punk? And he's like, the ECW champion? That's what he said. He literally said that, and I started laughing. I'm like, no, no, he's a WWE champion now. He's like, wait a minute, Cena versus Rock is not for the belt? He was confused as fuck, let me tell you that. But... I'm just saying to you, sometimes there is exceptions to the WWE Championship and the WWF Championship not main eventing at all. I know there's no be-all and end-all in wrestling. I understand that. I understand that. You don't need to bring that up to me. I understand that. But sometimes there are certain feuds that prove more interest. You know, if you're trying to tell me that a young blood champion in Cena versus Chris Jericho should, should have main evented over Hulk Hogan versus Shawn Michaels. I would be surprised that you would even want to say that should main event over a Hulk Hogan versus Shawn Michaels. I mean, at the time, Shawn Michaels was doing the best work he has done in years with those Jimmy Kimmel sticks and skits and freaking, or David Letterman. I forgot. I've been such a long time. I got to watch those again. Those are hilarious. And going out to the crowd, pondering to them. You know, sometimes there's a right time where the WWE Championship should, hey, you know, take the back seat. I mean, there was one time when Undertaker versus Mark Henry, a well-built feud in 2006, main evented over the WWE Championship. Would you rather see Cena and Orton end in a DQ and have Orton do jack shit all to end your pay-per-view? Or would you rather have, send the fans home happy and have Undertaker beat Mark Henry? Would you rather have Big Show retain the WWF Championship but not give two shits because what happened during Triple H versus Vince McMahon was just so much better than that? That's what I got to ask to you, Aaron.
The WWE Championship, does it have history? Yes. Does it have all the glory? But sometimes, Aaron, there is exceptions to when that title should main event. There is. As much as you may not like it, as much as many fans may not like it, sometimes the WWE title is just second rate. I mean, the title nowadays doesn't have that much value. The title has been flopped and hot potatoed more than fucking Kim Kardashian's ass. Let's just face it. The title's value sometimes is low. Deal with it and move on. Because, to be honest, Cena versus Orton in the Hell in a Cell did not prove any interest to me in 2009. But DX versus Legacy, holy shit, that main evented. But that was a really good feud. Just saying. Throwing it out there. Do some homework before you kind of talk about how, you know, Cena should not main event over the WWE Championship. No match should. And then kind of think to yourself, man, I kind of made a very silly statement there. Other than that, I thought you did a good job in your video. But to the point where I'm just kind of saying no match should main event over the WWE title is where, like, where I am like, um, I don't agree with that, bro. Have yourself a good time. This is Chase Lover 68. If you really like this video or something, you know, just give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, second channel with all those video game discussions and whatnot. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I got to say there. Remember, 2012 is the year of Orton. He will come back and win that World Heavyweight Championship. And that is all I got to say. See y'all.